So I ask you, what would you like to see Harvard do to combat this plague of hatred? So thank you for the question, Congresswoman. The situation at Harvard is so bad that we really only had two options. One was to come here, which we are doing, and the other was to hold them account in a court of law. We filed a lawsuit. Um, I'm one of uh, six plaintiffs who are making sure that if Harvard won't amend the terrible plague of anti-Semitism, that a court of law will. In terms of what we can be, you can be doing as the United States Congress, number one, subpoena, subpoena, subpoena. You would be horrified to see what is going on behind the scenes. Why is it, as you mentioned, that Harvard so willingly and enthusiastically accepts tens of millions of dollars every year from anti-Western, anti-democratic, anti-Semitic countries? Where is that money going to? Why is it that the Center for Middle Eastern Studies, as you said, the Religion and Public Life Department, DEI offices, DEI offices why is it that they're so incapable of having that freedom of intellectual thought? Why is it that they're so incapable of including Jews in these conversations? Why is it that they're so comfortable promoting Hamas, inviting terrorist sympathizers to come to their campus? Harvard has a strong track record of disciplining speech that they do not like. The only single exception is Jews. The only single exception is Jews. And so I, I ask all of you, I, I implore you, I beg of you, you, you are our last hope. 